welcome to an episode in the Rails API series. In this episode right here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create authentication for our Rails API. So in the previous episode of the React Foundation series, uh, we were able to delete contacts off our database uh, and create uh, contacts using our React front end. Um, I mean, in most cases, if you're just doing it for demonstration purposes, it's fine to not have authentication. However, if you're actually building a fully fledged application, you're going to need some kind of authentication. And when you deal with um, a React front end where it's a, a full, a single page application, authentication tends to work slightly differently. Um, you can use a session and then pass a session in the cookie and send it back and forth. But I feel that it's cleaner to do it the right way, which is to use um, token authentication. So in this episode, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So we're going to start off here. So we're going to install a device. So I'm going to head over into our code over here. Uh, so this is continuing off from the previous Rails API episode. I'm going to add a gem uh, device over here and go into our terminal and do a bundle. So we're going to do a bundle. All right. So here it's going to install a device for us. So if I head on up over here, you will see that it says as a warning, uh, I should update bundler by running gem install bundler. So gem install bundler. All right. So now we have warden and we have device installed. Uh, we can now actually go ahead and uh, set up device for our application. Now the first part is going to be very much the normal way of setting up device. Let's read through the documentation real quick. Uh, all we really have to do is just do a Rails generate device install. So I'm going to do um, Rails g device install, just like that. And this is basically going to um, set up the basic um, device initializer for us. Uh, so we're also going to need to generate the device model. So Rails g device user. Uh, and then basically this will generate the user table for us. Uh, so let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, I'm going to head over into the config initializers device. So here um, we have to not really do much for now, but we need to check out the migration. So let's check out the migration here. We have the user. Um, so at this point, you know, our user table is pretty much ready to go. Um, all we really have to do is to do a rake DB migrate and it will be good to go. Um, so here, uh, usually there is like common uh, comments over here. So if we want to have a user that needs to be confirmed once they sign up, uh, we can uncomment these columns and then basically um, device will automatically pick that up and then use that, uh, you know, so that we have to confirm our user uh, once they sign up. For now, I'm going to keep it simple. Later, if we do need to tackle that, we'll do that. Um, and also, if you haven't uh, watched our Rails Foundation series, do watch that because that's going to explain like a lot of like, you know, I don't have to explain a lot of the basics in these episodes because this is what I consider more to be more advanced um, part of the Rails series. So, yeah, uh, let's get uh, back into it. So here we have the user table. So what I'm going to do is just do a Rails DB migrate uh, just to create that um, table. So I'm going to head over into the code, check out the user. Um, so that's pretty much all we really need to do in terms of the um, device user authentication. Um, now we're going to need to implement the actual uh, controller to authenticate like using email or sign up using email and, uh, and the password confirmations. Um, you know, so that it actually works with our API. So what we're going to do is in here, I'm going to create a new um, controller. So I'm going to call it sessions controller.rb. So this controller is where we're going to be doing all of the signing in, signing out, and all that jazz. So class uh, v1. Uh, Sessions controller inherits from application controller. And uh, we're going to be able to create and destroy a session. So def create and def destroy. So as you can guess, for our 
uh, create, it's going to be signing in, and destroy is basically going to be signing out. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and create the routes. And uh, here we go, resources, sessions only, create, and destroy. So let's do a Rails routes just to see what we have here. So we have um, the user sign in and uh, we have the, so all these are generated by device, uh, which we don't really have to use. Um, so let's see, if I head over into the user model, um, actually in the routes, we can kind of like uh, remove this stuff because we're, we're going to do our own authentication. We're not going to use a default device authentication because that's for the browser. Like we render the page from the from the server, and then we you know we do the whole authentication using the default device stuff. But for now, we're kind of like going to do this ourselves. So um, yeah, let's let's leave it at that. Uh, this should be okay, and I'll show you guys how to implement the signing in and signing out. All right, so. Um, now, uh, what we need to do, so I'm going to use an app um, called Pause, and I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about how we actually test APIs when we don't have a front end. Um, so for now, this is just the basic setup video for device. Uh, in the next episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually make requests to our API uh, without, a, without a front end. With that, I'm going to wrap it up, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.